Hi everybody, it's Mark Sutton at F1 Sutton. Just going through my amazing best photos from the Italian Grand Prix. And I thought you'd like to see some of these amazing images online here back at the uh, my office here in uh, Old in Northamptonshire. Um, we're going to go through them on the computer. I've picked out what is about 10 different types of shots coming from Thursday to Sunday. Obviously there's so much going on over the weekend. There's so much to shoot that it's very difficult to pick your sort of 10 best photos or 10 selections of photos, but I've managed to do that here now. And we're going to go through them. I'll explain why. I'll explain um, the reasons why I took them, the reasons why I think they're really nice. Um, obviously you've seen a lot of them on the Instagram and you know um, how they look on Instagram. I'll explain a little bit how I've cropped them, how I've adjusted them through some of the software I use and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll crack on. Thanks very much guys and thanks for watching. So my first pictures are going to be on Thursday. We arrived and basically Ferrari, what I mean about Ferrari, McLaren were in these um, cycling outfits. Uh, you've got Carlos there and Lando obviously in the full outfits with the helmets on. I think they were doing some sort of promo but there's a great set of pictures here. I think these two guys are pro cyclists. And then you obviously got Carlos, they were doing some sort of video shoot. Uh, this was a great shot with this old classic 1970s tower. Obviously you've got down here, you've got the banking that goes off to the right. The cars used to go down the street. But we've got some shots that David Phipps took from this tower doing the start into that first corner. And they'd do a lap on the main circuit and then a lap on the banking. So it's amazing to see these. This was a great shot. This is Lando and... Uh, Carlos, there's a low down shot, so putting the camera on the floor and angling it up, and then obviously a wide angle before they set off and did a promo shoot around the track. So yeah, that's my that's my shots there of that, and then obviously we had a wet Friday, so a wet certainly Friday morning anyway. But I like these because what you do is basically you've got these lights that the teams have, and what you're trying to do is create you're trying to create these light shots that are basically. Trying to create these light shots that basically um, shoot against. So you can shoot against these quite nicely. Um, and basically what you do then is you blur out the light and you can see the car in the background there. See, sorry I had to shut the door then. I had somebody else making a sound as usual. That's why I need a private office where no one can disturb me. But anyway, here we go. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you can see here the two lights and then you've got the, the uh, McLaren here in the background with its lights on as well. This is a great shot. This has got three cars in it. But again, I've used this light to say red, red. Obviously, you've got the green light, obviously, to say it's going okay. But yeah, just trying to create different pictures in the in the pits is what it's all about. And it's great to, to blur that out and have these in sharp. You know, that's that's the whole idea of it. So yeah, you can see the, the six frames. I'll go back to the first one, actually. That's quite a nice one. And here you've got the lights on because obviously when it's wet, obviously there's a huge amount of spray. So the, the car in that's following needs to be able to see needs to be able to see that light it's really important um, and moving on to the third one what have we got Jody Schechter obviously celebrating his 40th anniversary since he won the championship he came actually came second in Monza in 1979 and won the championship uh, but Jody was there in his Ferrari jacket as you can see which is great got some nice portraits of him and then obviously he um, posed up here this is his son and this is Amanda, Amanda, who's uh, Adrian knew his girlfriend. She she's obviously into the old cars like Adrian is. But yeah, really nice shot there and posed up. And obviously Jody on the track. This is a V12 Ferrari engine. Absolutely incredible sound. Loved it going round. Just amazing. And the cockpit, you can see it's all original car. This is actually Jody's own car um, that he owns. Uh, but amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, obviously Jody now in his late seventies, but still. Still able to drive, still wearing his original overall, which is incredible. Uh, but I love taking these photos. Amazing, absolutely amazing shot. Uh, and um, and then obviously um, it was Ferrari's 90th celebration, so they made this beautiful cartoon type poster, which was on the top of the motorhome. And um, you've obviously got all the amazing stars: Schumacher, Regazzoni, uh, Barrichello. I think I can see Villeneuve. I'm just trying to look from a distance. Sorry, Villeneuve louder. Obviously Charles and Seb. And then you've got the other smaller drivers down at Kimi there. Um, I think Mazzario. Uh, who else have you got in here? Nigel Mansell, John Lacey, uh, Alan Prost is quite small. I don't know why, but um, there's obviously a reason. <laughs> the Michael one is lovely. I think it's one of our photos, actually. 
and then obviously I think this is I think this is Alonso um, I guess Fangio yeah it's amazing to see uh, Felipe Massa there he always did that little thing where he patted the patch which a lot of footballers do and obviously the um, the celebrations continued and the helmet designs this was uh, Charles Leclerc's helmet with the Monza logo but it was a great little logo he put on there and then I tried to capture him putting the helmet on which obviously had the Ferrari logo on the front his tribute to um, Hubert um, obviously he tragically passed in Monza stays on there for the rest of the year I'm sure this is a great shot this is in the garage again you're trying to shoot through here through lots of mechanics and it's very difficult sometimes to do that but I managed to get a really clean shot with the um, with you can see his boots and he sat on the chair with his helmets ready to go and this was a great shot this is him talking to Ross Braun at the end of the session I managed to get it just one frame really but shooting again through you can see there's like a pipe here there's mechanics everywhere it's it's very difficult to shoot in these circumstances uh, but you have to just do it just do it as I keep saying <laughs> Um, some of my favourite shots was on the Friday when obviously they didn't do much running and it's great because the drivers stay in the pits and that's your opportunity to get lots of portraits and expressions and people talking and I've got these great shots of Daniel which you probably saw on my Instagram story which I put up and you've got a great sequence of shots there of Daniel just keep your finger on the button because you're never sure what the expression's going to be in my case and I love Daniel because obviously he does have great expressions um, and then moving on to the Parabolica. So on Saturday morning, I went to the Parabolica corner, one of the most famous corners in Monza. And uh, I love going to the tower there to create these overhead shots. Um, these are all shot quite fast shutter speed. They're really coming through this corner so quick. I mean, they look static, but they're actually doing about 170, 180 mile an hour into this corner, flat out. It's unbelievable when you watch them on TV. And when you're there actually watching them go through the corners, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Let me tilt this down a bit so we get rid of that shadow. That's better. Uh, and the, I shot these at really slow shutter speed. These are at a 15th or maybe a 30th actually. I think they were 30th. Uh, but yeah, try, you're just trying to experiment really all the time. And I, I did get some nice shots. And this one this one is pin on um, Kimmy. And then obviously using a fisheye was great. You had this reflection off the Rolex branding, which was great. And I tried to create, this was good with the two Williamses coming through the corner. Um, yeah, and I was trying to. There was a load of um, people invited as guests out on the track with tabards, which was quite interesting. I guess the FOM are now selling those packages or inviting sponsors out onto the circuit. This was a great one. This one shows the crowd on the left, crowd on the right. A typical sort of parabolica shot, really. And the reflection here is great because obviously you've got the cars coming around the corner. Um, and then obviously onto the pit lane, uh, Q3 was. Obviously a huge controversy on the qualifying in, on the Saturday in the afternoon and um, all the cars sort of went out together and obviously on track together. I didn't know that they were actually holding each other up but I obviously saw that later. But even in the pit lane they were all lined up trying to get into position even before they went out on the circuit. So I thought it was quite funny to post these. This was quite a funny moment. Um, then moving on to the uh, Charles on the grid. You saw my selection of Charles on the grid. This is great because you've got the Ferrari umbrella in the background and he's focused, he's totally focused on the job. Um, from the side I shot this and then obviously um, this was the normal shot you would do. I guess Charles sitting down, most of the photographers are left by then. Don't know why I think they went to do the grid presentation. But what I did is I put the camera on the floor and angled it up against the grass and I think this creates a great impression. Um, this is actually the frame I've shot but you have one photographer behind it and what I've done is I've cropped it up so it crops out basically that photographer and just I've got the wall Charles and the grass um, and I think that's what you need to do sometimes you need to be able to crop up because obviously you want to make the picture as clean as possible I've tried but obviously that photographer has just jumped into that position and I couldn't help that so going on to the air display so on the grid they had an incredible air display as I was leaving actually the grid to go to Parabolica Corner so I literally stopped shot this on the 70 to 200 and uh, had them going away it's great but the, I mean the flag is just beautiful and eventually the, the planes go but the flag remains it's just great shot. Uh, and then they came round again this is on the 500 this is on the 500 millimeter um, and obviously I got a bit tight and but it's beautiful the light is just amazing with this dark sky uh, in the background so yeah some great pictures and then moving on to the 
the final pictures really are these ones of um, the Ferrari team and Charles celebrating on the podium. I mean, this was the finish shot I took. Charles with his arm up out, all the mechanics on the pit wall, which is a great shot. Again, shot quite fast shutter speed, but still blur because obviously you've got the mechanics in the background as he goes past. Then obviously they bring on the flag. Uh, the Tafosi just takes over the whole podium and you can hardly see anything because of all the smoke bombs. And I'm going to show you the smoke bombs going off in a minute because uh, obviously they tried this incredible podium with electronics backboard, but it, they only managed five minutes and it blew its power because obviously there's so much electric going on with the lights, the backdrop, the, the video screen and obviously the DJ set. Uh, but the smoke bombs were a pain, I must admit, but they do create crazy pictures. Um, uh, but um, Charles coming onto the podium was one of my favourite moments. He just was just so happy and so emotional. Then this shot I just posted recently yesterday. Basically, I got one frame where Charles is on the podium and he's basically saluting and the other two guys are sort of clapping. You know, there's the DJs, but they didn't last very long. Like I said, they, Heineken must have paid him a huge amount of money, but uh, for five minutes set. Uh, so yeah, that's my um, that's my pictures from the weekend, guys. Um, obviously, um, I hope you enjoyed seeing those. Um, my Charles one has got over five, three and a half thousand likes now and growing still. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this um, this video and uh, a, a sort of a, a look back at my favourite photos from the weekend. We'll keep doing this during the year and uh, we'll try and do it from uh, Singapore on the Monday or the Tuesday before we go to Sochi. Obviously, we're flying to um, we're flying to Sochi via Moscow, so we're going um, Singapore, uh, actually to Dakar, believe it or not, and then on to Moscow and then on to Sochi. So it's going to be a long trip, but um, I'm going to enjoy it. It's going to be great. We get a couple of days off in Singapore to chill, maybe a bit of shopping, relax and uh, relax over the weekend. But uh, thanks for looking, guys. Uh, keep watching F1 Sutton, and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.